Okay. So my 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 question my question is first of all, why isn't the woman being named? Number one, why 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 do they want them to stay anonymous? Why are they being reprimanded? Why is he the only face of this whole institute? That that's my question. <laughs> and these are important questions. You know, people want to say that we're pointing the blame or trying to make it about the women who are involved. No, this is about accountability. Yes. This is about maintaining a standard in the workplace. This is about understanding that when you get hired at a job, you sign a contract that yep. you are representing the organization and they have certain code of conduct and values that have to be upheld. And if you don't uphold those values, you can be terminated or penalized. Everyone sits through those meetings and they sit through the modules online when you first get your jobs or when you go to school, they make you sit through those modules where they explain the ins and outs of, you know, contact between, you know, coworkers, contact between opposite sex, breaking those things down. So the question becomes, as you said, there, there are a, a ton of questions. There are a ton of questions. The news broke. Nobody's saying anything. Matt Barnes made a, a, a live where he basically came out and said that someone who was close to the situation in this organization contacted him personally and spoke to him and said that the issues are deeper than what is being reported. And that is why only a certain amount of info is being discussed and there are other things that are not being mentioned, but there are a lot of red flags. There are a lot of questions and a lot of red flags. First red flag, as you already mentioned, my man, if these, if the relationships were consensual, why were the females who not involved? They're not being identified and you, the owner has already said they're not being punished. But Coach Adoka, has been publicly punished, has yeah. had this information leaked by the organization. His wife found out he was cheating from a tweet. <laughs> Imagine your wife finds out you're cheating because of a tweet by an ESPN inside. Yeah. He is suspended for the year. There's no time frame of what he can do to come back. They're going to review after a year. And because he is still under contract, he is not allowed to leave the organization or go work with another team until they make a decision on whether or not they want to keep him or fire him. Yeah. Only way he can get out is if he resigns. And if he resigns, he loses the money. He has no choice but to stay in his contract. And wait it out. And wait it out. Because that guarantee money going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> but when you start to put everything together, because think about all the information we discussed. Yeah. It was two women. Reportedly, both women were married. So the more, the two married women were cheating on their significant others as well. One yeah. of which who allegedly could have been the vice president of the team. The women are not being punished. He's being indefinitely suspended and have has no future as far as his job. And he probably can't get a job after this scandal, as far as we know. Something's not adding up. This information is alleged, but the women who are involved are not being punished. Last time I checked, if we were talking about, you know, everyone being treated fairly in the workplace, wanting equal equal compensation for equal effort. That means equal consequences for equal actions. Why are the women who engaged in consensual as an investigation that was done by an independent authority separate of the Boston Celtics and the NBA did a, a couple of months of investigation and said it was consensual? Yeah. Why are they not being punished? And, and, you, and you know why that is? You know why that is? Because we spoke about it on the phone earlier. We spoke yeah. about this on the phone earlier. And I rem and I don't know if you re remember when I said this. I said, when all this first happened, what's going to end up happening? Because like you said, they had the investigation. It's consensual. 
Now what's going to end up happening is if they decide to reprimand the two women, if not many more women, what's going to end up happening is one, if not more of those women is going to come out and say, oh, hey, it was it was consensual. It was it was an assault. He forced himself on me. I felt like I, my job was at jeopardy. I thought that I was going to lose my job. I, I felt like I was forced to do this because of ABC one, two, three. And now instead of it being resolved, it's going to be a whole lawsuit. It's going to it's going to be a whole new, bigger thing. And the Celtics know this. So instead of them going through that whole loophole, that's why they had to come out and say that, oh, nothing's going to happen to the women. Even though exactly. these are two grown-ass women. One of them women is in, is in their damn 30s. Grown women yeah. that knows yeah. the policy just like the coach did and yes. still went about it the way she wanted to as far as getting sexual with, 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 uh, with the coach. He was only hired a year ago. So he's relatively new to the organization. Yeah. Yeah. But you still knew this as a grown woman and still chose to get into a sexual uh, relationship, consensually sexual relationship with this man. Yeah. You being a married woman, him being a married man, you decide to still do that. So tell me, why is it, first of all, why, why they're hiding them, why they're keeping them anonymous? An I said anonymous. Yeah, I don't no. get it. Because the thing, the thing about it, and, and, and this, again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier, man, when a man and a woman commits the same crime and has the same amount of background as far as a clean record, if me and her was to rob a bank and we both got caught, I'm getting 10 years off rip, 15 years off rip. They're going to give her mm -hmm. four years, six years. It's already been proven by the Justice Society that women is way more likely to get less time than a man will for the same crime. This has already yeah. been proven. And this is a perfect example of what happens in corporate office, in, in a corporate setting, just like me. I work in a corporate setting. If I was to do something with another woman and, and what would happen? Nothing's going to happen to her because they don't want a lawsuit. I'm going to be dragged through the whole mud. Oh, dad did this, that, and third, and da, 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 da. Well, why was dad messing with this woman? No, why were both of them messing with each other? That's the better question. She knew the yes. risk of losing her job just as much as he did. She knew the policies, but she still decided to go and do everything that she needed to do. And then you have the 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 people that's coming out to defend the women. That's really really, and we'll get to that later. That 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 really damn rubbed me the wrong way because it's just like, bro, is is it really that serious? Like Kevin Kev, Kevin Samuels, all right, please, Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels said at best, bro, the account, accountability is like the kryptonite for women. No matter what, no matter mm -hmm. what, because I have yet to see, first of all, any of the women been named. I'm still waiting. It's going on, what, three, four days now? None of the women is being named. The Celtics came out talking about, oh, well, we're not going to do this. We're not going to reprimand it. Well, why not, sir? Those two grown-ass women knew the policies and the, the do's and don'ts of your corporation just as much as he did. He's wrong, and she's wrong. He's being reprimanded. She should be reprimanded. She's not getting reprimanded. They're not, well, the two women if not more, will not be reprimanded because the Celtics don't want a lawsuit on their hands. And and that and that's what it boiled down to, man. Yeah. Why is it that these two women get to return to work? And let's let's be clear. We're not saying what Ime Adoka did was right. I personally believe he should have been fired outright. I know you and some other people feel the same way. He sh everyone knows the golden rule. As you said, you made a whole video on the subject. I know you can link in it to everyone if they need to see it, but if you guys haven't seen it, you need to. The yeah. video, you you broke it down. No classmates, no coworkers, no neighbors. You do not engage in close relationships with women who are in places where you live and thrive. You never want to be in a situation like you said. I don't want to be called into HR. Hey, Dev, I heard from Sally that you and such and such was eating lunch together the other day. Is everything okay? I don't I don't want no situations going on now. Come to find out a couple weeks later, you get called into the office again. Well, hey, she says that, you know, she didn't get the promotion. And when you guys were out there sitting down eating lunch, you mentioned that, hey, if you want a promotion, I can help you out if we go on another date. And now you're sitting here trying to say, well, 
I just had lunch with her because she asked me if I wanted to go with her outside because she didn't want to be alone. You don't want to be in a circumstance where you have a group project with one of your classmates and you guys meet out of outside of class in order to get the work done. You don't want to be called into the dean's office. Hey, how this girl came to me and said that you'll do the group project for her if you if 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 she does favors for you. What what is yeah. what is this? You don't want to be in a situation where you are done dating a girl who's one of your neighbors and she's upset because she sees somebody else going into your house. Now she's going to your landlord saying, oh, he was stalking me in the parking lot. He makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't like living next to him. Now you got people coming to your door asking questions. You never want to put yourself in a situation where you are engaging interpersonal relationships with someone who is where you live or thrive. If things don't work out, it can blow up in your face. These are Max. things that fellas need to learn. And ladies too, you know, some, I understand everybody, you know, you go to work for eight, nine hours a day. You're around these people all the time. It's okay to engage in certain friendships, but you guys got to understand that one, you need to work within the policy and the guidelines of where you work. Know the code of conduct at your job and if it's appropriate or considered inappropriate for you to engage in relationship with coworkers. I get it. Everyone's human. Everyone's natural. Sometimes you see the same girl at your job for eight hours a day. She gives you those feelings and gives you the uplifting that you probably don't get at home or from whoever. I yeah. get it. Yeah. Make sure that you have things in place. Make sure that you understand, hey, you know, we should. If we're going to do this, we need to be wary of the rules. We need to let HR know so it's not a conflict of interest and our schedule yeah. wasn't matching up. So we're not, you know, doing the deed on the clock and things of that nature. And do things to protect yourself if you're going to engage in this behavior. But at the absolute best, you should just save yourself the trouble. Don't yeah. even do it. It's, it's, not, it's not worth it. It's, no. it's, it's, it's really not worth it, bro. It's, it's really not worth it. And me, me living where I live, I live right next to a university. Majority of my neighbors are, they, they attend that university. Yeah. So I got, I got 19, 20 year old neighbors, sexy, cute, fine as hell. Of course. On my door. Hey, yo, we about to have a pool party. I don't know if you, bro, I've been living there for three and a half, damn near four years now. I still haven't attended one of these damn pool parties that they had. I still haven't had you attend one one of the little drinking parties that they didn't have because I don't want any problems. And this is the type I'm I, and I'm not trying to say this to scare people, but this is the type of thing that could happen at your job, in your class, at work, at, at your goddamn complex where you're living in. These are the situations that could possibly happen. Now you're over here facing a damn eviction notice, all, all because you, you know she she was throwing you mixed signals, and then at the last minute she decided to change her mind because she remembered she had a boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, st like stupid stuff like that. Stupid stuff like that. And now you evicted, sir. We need you out in the next, uh, in the next ten to fifteen business days. Now what? And you're not getting your your your, your direct deposit back. You're not getting your, your security deposit back because, uh, right here under your lease it says, yeah, you're yeah. not getting none of that back. So I say all that to tell guys, and this is why I said, like, yo, uh, the coach is stupid, bro, because he did this to himself. You're making $4 million a year, and you messing with a chick that's making forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year? The first thing that you should have did, first of all, is not mess with her, number one. That's first of all. Knee alone. We all know the movies. We all seen the TV shows. We love us some Nia. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, yeah. But the first thing you should have, you should have, you should have never did it to begin with. Number one, number two. If you're gonna do it, sir, you're a millionaire. This chick only Why damn making forty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars a year. Why are you not making her sign the NDA? Or why your coworkers? Why, why can't that's you a better question? You can either have them sign the NDA or you don't do the coworkers. You you have money. You can. You don't mean to tell me when you go to these cities. You can you can't nah man. Come on now. Come on now. Trav, you, you mean listen, in, in in a whole stadium, the stadium, the Boston Stadium fills what 70,000, 80,000 seats? 
You mean to tell me in the whole state, let, let's just say half is men, half is women. 40, 80,000, so that's 40,000. Out of 40,000 grown-ass women that come to that stadium to watch y'all play, you're going to find a couple cuties out of 40,000? Directly affiliated with the team, let alone a, a alleged VP's wife. The VP's wife out of all people in the organization, really? That boy, that that that, that boy living dangerous, man. That, that 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 boy, that boy living dangerous, bro. I'm I'm am telling you right now, the man the man living dangerous.